So let's talk about anaphylaxis and mm -hmm. describe to us, doctor, what exactly happens to that individual when right. it occurs. And so, it, it's so frightening. Yeah, it can be very, very, very scary, first of all. Paint a picture for us, will you? Okay, so, I, you know, uh, I, well, I guess we'll continue with the restaurant situation. So let's say you, you know, walk into a restaurant and sit down and order a meal and have, you know, talked about your food allergies or whatever it may be. Uh, but as you begin to eat your meal, um, you may begin to feel very general symptoms, uh, itching uh, or a swallowing dysfunction or sort of a not feeling right, which is a general symptom. And the most important thing here is the aggressiveness of the uh, situation. If the situation is very rapidly changing, it's not time to sit and wait and see, is this going to get better? It's time to act. So if you have been pre-diagnosed and if you've prepared and you have your EpiPen and all of these things, then that's the time to intervene because the sooner you intervene, the better. But if you have the EpiPen, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment, mm -hmm. uh, that's great because you're aware, but if you don't, don't. Right. That's where it gets scary. Correct. Lips start swelling. Because you may swelling. lose your ability to communicate. Face starts yeah, getting face starts really swelling. big. Correct. Absolutely. So anaphylaxis, sort of by definition, is a, a diffuse response, sort mm -hmm. of a multi-systemic response. Uh, and, and we can even lead to anaphylactic shock. Now I'm having trouble saying the word right. So anaphylactic <laughs> shock, where that really begins to affect your cardio respiratory yes. uh, ability to maintain blood pressure and et cetera, and that requires obviously acute intervention. Now the good news is is that these things can be pretty quickly reversible when put in the right hands, Correct. whether it be fire rescue or in an emergency room, even in, in urgent care where you know IV steroids can be given or uh, other medications can be given rather quickly and the patient can begin to get better faster. <laughs>